I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good morning, ladies. Thank you for joining me here on the Valder Beebe Show live in Dallas, Texas, broadcasting on Y99 KYBS. I want to welcome Dr. Mary Bailey, who's my uh, medical person for today, my healthcare professional, and Abby, who has walked the walk. Thank you, ladies, for being here to talk about multiple sclerosis. I'm, I really am honored to have this opportunity. If you'll set the medical platform for us, Dr. Bailey. Sure. What is multiple sclerosis? So multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease um, that's characterized by periods of stability. And it um, then has periods where new neurologic symptoms um, will present themselves. And hopefully, there'll be um, some degree of recovery. All right. We're going to talk about the partnership with our caregivers and you know, uh, 65 million Americans who care for loved ones with a chronic condition. Abby, would you kind of give us a synopsis of your personal tie-in with multiple sclerosis? Absolutely, sure. So I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2008. Um, although my first symptoms started in 2001, um, I had a really bad migraine that turned into complete loss of use of the left side of my body. So we spent seven years trying to figure out what was wrong. Um, so by the time I finally got diagnosed, uh, we were really glad just to have answers. So the diagnosis wasn't a shock. We were just glad to know what was going on. Um, and so my partnership with my husband um, as my caregiver has been really important in that time. Thank you for sharing your story. Dr. Bailey, yes. is her story normal? Is, is it kind of routine for the disease? Or is it unique? Well, I would say that each patient's story is unique, and everyone presents in a totally different way. Um, there are some symptoms that are more common than others, but if, if you or your loved one thinks that you might have symptoms um, consistent with MS, you know, potential change in vision, weakness, numbness, or tingling, you know, it's very important to talk to your health care provider. Okay. Tell me about the caregiving that Mary alluded to that is happening with her husband. Is that an important aspect of the disease? Sure. So, you know, this is a um, issue that's very near and dear to my heart. So um, my father was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when I was five years old, and I watched my uh, mother um, take care of him. And so, you know, what Abby alluded to is, is very important um, and, is, and is critical to multiple sclerosis because these caregivers help patients get to their appointments, um, help with their activities of daily living, and really lend them a lot of emotional support. Um, so I think, you know, in this month with um, National Family Caregivers Month, it's really important to give appreciation and admiration to these unsung heroes. Okay, and I want to correct it. 65 million Americans are the caregivers. As more and more people are becoming caregivers, how do they know how to do this? You know, they send you home from the hospital with, uh, and I, I'm talking from experience, you know, make sure she takes this at 12 o'clock and make sure she does this at 1 o'clock and do this and she's got to do this and do that. And it sounds like a nurse's job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that the most important thing really is if you're not sure how to do it, to reach out for help and really to talk to your health care provider. So one of the things that's really important, for example, is, you know, when I talk to patients um, about treatment options um, is uh, when I talk to them, 
you know, I say there's so many different treatment options, you know, how might we decide? Um, and so um, I say, you know, one of the potential treatment options I may use um, is a treatment called Gelenia or Fingolimod. And um, this is a treatment that doesn't cure MS, but it may decrease the relapse frequency. Um, and, you know, this is a, a great thing because it's going to slow the progression of the disease. And uh, in regards to uh, MS treatments, with the good comes potential side effects. And these side effects may be very difficult for caregivers to help the patient manage as well. But with, with Jelenia specifically, we monitor the patient for six hours, looking at changes in heart rate and blood pressure. And so really the key for caregivers and for patients is really to talk to your healthcare providers if you're not sure. So anytime you're not sure, just ask your doctor or healthcare provider. And I'd like to ask uh, Abby one question, and then I'll wrap up with you, Dr. Abby. What is the most needed quality in a caregiver, aside from being a relation uh, to you? Because everybody doesn't have a great husband like you. What is the, what's, what's a great quality to have? I think just having somebody, um, whether it's your doctor or a family friend, if it's not somebody who's, you know, a spouse or a significant other, just somebody who can lend you that emotional support. And I think there are great resources also. Um, Jelenia's website, for instance, which is jelenia.com, has resources about MS in general, as well as um, resources specifically for support. And that's a great route you can go also if you need that and you don't have it sort of built in already. All right. Thank you, Abby, and I wish you the best that God has to offer. Thank you. Dr. Bailey, I'll wrap up with you. It says around 400 people in the U.S., approximately um, 85% of the people have this kind of relapsing M MS. Could you explain that? Sure. Or maybe I'm not understanding. Sure, yes. Yeah. So um, the majority of um, patients um, with multiple sclerosis have relapsing forms of MS. And relapsing forms of MS um, are characterized by periods of stability, and then they will have um, periods of time where they develop new neurologic symptoms. And they, we call these relapses or attacks. And then there's some degree of recovery followed, hopefully, by periods of stability. And with these medications, we hope that there are um, uh, more periods of stability. And so I'm very happy today to partner with Novartis to get the message out about um, the importance of caregivers, the importance of getting on medication, and on educating yourself about um, MS and MS treatments. All right. Once again, Dr. Uh, Bailey, is a wrap-up. Time's running out. Where can my audience go online and educate themselves? Well, definitely it's important to go online and educate yourselves about MS, and you can go on jelenia.com. I want to thank Dr. Mary Bailey and Abby for sharing her story, and thank you for being my guest and helping to educate my audience about this. I know some of them can identify. Have a great holiday. Thank you. Thanks, you too.